Yeah, last we spoke, uh, we saw some new guitars that I had actually just received and was testing on that tour, and those were my Mayona's guitars. And um, yeah, everything is totally cool and amicable there. Um, some opportunities uh, presented themselves throughout the pandemic and, uh, and our time away. And you're looking at one of them right here, which is, uh, this is one of four prototypes in existence from Schechter. And um, we struck up a conversation at the beginning of this year that led to um, the opportunity for me to have input on designing models, right. which is really exciting. And um, I think a lot, of, a lot of the times people will see an artist change a brand or something like that, and, and perhaps it's not always so obvious from a logistical standpoint or a strategic standpoint why a certain individual would do such a thing and uh, like I said everything is totally cool and amicable right, there's right. no reason other than uh, a very quality opportunity presented itself to have influence over models that will be actually attainable at a reasonable price point right. and uh, allow me to fly around the world and pull these off the hook at any music store anywhere and there'll also be some some more detailed and fancy things to come, but we're starting with import guitars, which are spec to the nines, and there's no compromise happening here. These are amazing, and I've been enjoying testing them on tour. What we wanted to do is just make sure that we're you know hitting um, you know your baseline necessities in terms of a balanced instrument from a material standpoint. We see a lot of the same things um, with you know with a lot of modern guitars. You know whether it's roasted maple necks became very popular in the sure. last few years, or you know you would sort of expect that um, at a particular at a particular level. But what we decided to do was go with instruments that are, you know, um, minimalistic in a in a degree, you know, in a sense um, from the standpoint of, of the materials and the, and the lumber. So basswood body, quarter sawn one piece wenge necks with carbon fiber reinforcement, which is slick, and ebony fingerboard. Yeah. There's three materials on this instrument. Um, which is unlike what I was playing before, which are a multi-laminate type sure. situation, which isn't necessarily my preference. That's just how those guitars are built, and no slight to the, sure. to, to the build quality on those. But I've always preferred a bolt-on, quarter-son, one-piece neck um, with a, a balanced body, whether it's mahogany or alder or whatever it calls for. I feel like the neck is really important. We spend our, the most of our time here. Sure. And I think a lot of the time uh, people are so concerned with the body material, but I you know, in my experience personally, the neck really dictates the user experience, which, sure. you know, so, uh, and not only that, it's conveying all of the resonant information from here into the body. So I selected Wenge because one, aesthetically, it's beautiful against its, its color. And so of course sick. it has to be how it looks. Yeah. It's not about how it sounds. Um, but also it is really stable for uh, not being necessarily a dense hardwood like maple. Um, we did, for insurance purposes, put some carbon fiber sure. in there, which will just allow the instruments to hold up better in the trailer or changing climates, flying and things like which right. we have to. And you have international tours left and right. So yeah, yeah, I need it to hold up, right? Um, but there's something about Wenge that sort of accepts some of the schmoo from your hands over time and starts to feel really played in um, and kind of, I don't know, heirloom-esque. Right. Roasted maple has the same, same quality to it, but this gives you like a really nice handshake with some character. So I really like this and it's a very balanced material. Also takes an ebony fingerboard great. You could certainly put a maple fingerboard on it, but aesthetically we decided to go with ebony yeah, and great. get a really dense, snappy, immediate fingerboard. And basswood because it's tonally balanced, it's pretty neutral. So when you have the, you know, the hard immediacy of the ebony and then, you know, the tonal quality of the of the wenge Basswood was the way to go. We thought about alder potentially, but weight on the strap is actually really, really important to me. And uh, I want the guitars to feel, you know, light. I mean, I think they're about six and a half, maybe seven pounds. Um, wow, and that's reasonable. Oh, it's totally reasonable. Yeah, it's not a feather, but it's also not a boat anchor. Right. So um, it feels really good on a strap. And then the last details would be, you know, we took a C1 body, which I'm, I'm very partial to. Some of my earliest uh, workhorse guitars and some of my older like local bands and stuff, prior to intervals, um, featured this silhouette. I'm always torn between a flat top slab style super strat or something with some bevel. And to me, this is the perfect See, balance of all the things I, I love. I was gonna say, it's very subdued, but I do like the, the lines are slick, man. Looks they good, look super man. Fast. Love the matching reverse headstock. Yes, so these are the things that are going to set it apart. This is a first for Schecter in terms of taking the vintage headstock and doing reverse, six in line, also tilt back. I was gonna say no string tree. No string tree. So your tree. brake angle is a little more severe than Schecter would normally do. Yeah, and they do tilt back on, on some models, but they have not done it with the vintage headstock reversed. So right. 
feel really good about that. Um, it provides a little bit of extra stability and tension there. Also, again, aesthetically, we're not interrupting the headstock with a string tree. So sure. really like that. We also made sure that, you know, since we're putting so much emphasis on a clean headstock, we did the truss rod wheel, which is for me, you know, if I'm, if I don't have, uh, you know, a crew member or a John, uh, our guitar tech stage manager on hand, um, it's a pain taking, you know, truss rod covers yeah. off and making adjustments. I've even had some nightmares happen before where like right before tour, I was adjusting a vintage style truss rod and the cap broke. Yeah, bummer. And what are you going to do? Yeah. So, um, truss rod wheel was a, was a non-negotiable, luckily, you know, Schechter already does it and it was easy enough to do. And then the biggest thing here was I did some reconnaissance on, on some models that they offer and we spend so much time interacting with the hardware that, you know, I just, I want to make sure that, you know, anyone who picks this guitar up has a reliable experience. And there's no slight at any, you know, more affordable or imitation hardware or anything like that, but the Goto 510, a real Japanese Goto 510 with a steel block is one of the most consistent things I've had through all of my guitars. And it's my favorite two point vintage style non-locking trim. And a steel block has that middle ground where it's not as light as zinc, it resonates more than zinc, but it's not as heavy as brass. Gotcha. And I wanted to make sure that we had all those details present. So real 510, real steel block, real hip shot tuners. So no imitation hardware or anything like that on an import model. This is an Indonesian built guitar, um, but the fit and finish is immaculate. Sure. You know, Schechter is doing amazing things these days and they produce instruments for others as well that uh, maybe some, yeah. some aren't even aware of. And the thing is, is they're, they're coming out just deadly perfect. Yeah. So that's essentially the six. It's a five-way selector um, with my usual settings uh, in terms of the, the pickup configurations and uh, Schechter USA Custom Shop Pickups. Uh, the, currently what's in here is their Pasadena Plus set, which I'm uh, sort of auditioning. Uh, pickups are not 100%. Uh, like I said, I'm road testing these for the first time. So we brought them in. The rig is completely Schechter at this point, which is phenomenal, and that was the plan. Um, I would have loved to have done it prior to tour, but things are slow in 2021 with supply chains and things of that nature. So we did it on the fly and it's working out to be really great. I am very comfortable with these in my hands now and I'm absolutely adoring them. They're yeah. designed exactly as I intended. It's awesome.